Hello and welcome to Culinary Outfitters, where we team up with culinary professionals, dressing them in our amazing Chef Works gear that matches their need in the kitchen and syncs up with their personal style. I'm Marisol Nostroza and I work for ChefWorks Product Development Department where we are constantly innovating to design the best performing chef gear. And we do that by talking to you to figure out where we can improve, where we can add functionality and create unique styles for a wide range of trendsetters. Which is why I'm so excited to be a part of Culinary Outfitters and I hope you enjoy our time together. So let's get to the outfitting part, shall we? First off, let's get to know our very first guest on the show, Chef Rich Sweeney. I'm Rich Sweeney. I've been a chef for about 15 years here in San Diego, California. I've done everything from uh, front of house, back of house, bartended. I own my own restaurant for five years, uh, small little places, bigger corporate places. I've seen it all. My culinary philosophy is keep it simple, stupid. Like just don't overcomplicate it. It's great food can speak for itself. When I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear for the day, it's all about, you know, function first, then it's got to be comfortable and it's got to be stylish. It's part of why I love ChefWorks. There's always so many different options and everything works really well together, whether it's one specific line or kind of multiple pieces that you can kind of take together and just make something that fits you for what you're doing every day, but also like it still looks really cool when you're in the kitchen. My personal style is definitely all about being comfortable. Uh, it's that broken in pair of jeans, that comfortable sweatshirt that you've had for way too many years, uh, a really nice t-shirt that just fits just right. That's my style outside of work. I wanted to be on Culinary Outfitters because ChefWorks is constantly coming up with new stuff. Like, I don't always know what the newest thing is, but they're always right on the cutting edge of like things that are functional, fashion forward. You know, they're still stylish, but they work really well. And so I figured, why not come in and have the pros tell me what works best? Please welcome Chef Rich Sweeney. Hello, Rich. Thank you for being here with us today at Culinary Outfitters. I'm Marisol, it's so nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, it's so great to be back here at ChefWorks. Absolutely, so based on your bio, we took the liberty to select three different babe aprons that we think are gonna work for you for the kitchen. But before we try the first one on, we're gonna cut to Amanda Stuckey, our VP of Marketing, who's gonna tell us all about the Seattle family of aprons and why they're so different than anything else on the market. Hi everybody, my name is Amanda Stuckey and I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at ChefWorks. The Seattle Bib Apron is one of my personal favorites because of the unique herringbone pattern and the flexibility it offers its wearer. The Seattle Bib Apron features a herringbone weave that makes it bold, fashion forward statement and comes with a detachable neck strap. The next strap actually comes in 11 different colors. The Seattle bib features four pockets in total, one oversized front pocket that can hold a standard size tablet, a smaller inset pocket inside that left oversized pocket, perfect for notebook and pens. It's got an angled back pocket on the right where you could probably put your phone. The Seattle bib is wider than the standard apron coming in at 37 and a half inches across. So we added a front slit to alleviate restricting your stride. Finally, we all want our aprons to last. So common technique you will see in all of our designs is the use of double needle stitching with reinforced stress points, which keeps your apron from falling apart or tearing off a pocket if you get snagged. The Seattle bib apron is part of our ChefWorks Urban Collection and comes in two different styles, a bib, which we saw, and a half bistro. It's available in three different colors, so black, taupe, and blue, and it has 11 different neck strap colors. So black, white, charcoal, blue, red, camel, yellow, orange, turquoise, sea foam blue, and can't forget tropical pink. Now let's get back to Marisol and Chef Rich to see what they have to say about the Seattle apron. So Rich, we're gonna try on our first apron of the day, the Seattle bib apron. And it does come in three different color options. We have blue, taupe, or black. Okay. I selected the taupe one for you today because I think it's really gonna pop against the color of your coat. If you'd like to put that on. Black and taupe, nice, uh, nice combo. The red straps, a nice little pop of color too. It does look good against that coat. So I mentioned right now, Rich, that the Seattle apron has four pockets in total. The main compartment here on the left is wide enough to fit a tablet. We have another pocket there in the interior and two more here on the right hand side. And uh, the best feature about this apron is the strap because you get to select what color you want to pair with it. 
And I'll show you all the colors over here at the table. Love it. So this is kind of like I can mix it, match it, like whatever my mood is for the day, or if I have a different color chef coat, I kind of want to have a little pop of color, go a bit more clean. Absolutely. And it's great if you have different events going on at your restaurant, you want to switch it up to, you know, enhance the look of the event, help advertise whatever you have going on. So which other color calls out to you today? I like it. I mean, the red's a nice pop of color, but I got the white embroidery, the dark coat. How about we swap out for the white strap? The white's going to look awesome. Let's do it. It's perfect and it's easy. Just kind of swing it over, clip it onto here. Snaps right in place. Yeah, that's awesome. Though I do have a question. Uh, what what are these things for? I'm so glad you asked that, Rich, because those extra snaps allow you to wear this apron in two other ways. So you could purchase an additional strap and actually wear it as a crossback or over the shoulder. Oh, okay. So kind of depending on what I got going on, whatever's most comfortable. Sometimes the single strap on the back of the neck can get a little much, so Absolutely. change it up. Exactly. It's so versatile. So what do you think? So, I mean, I love the herringbone pattern. This is definitely going to be able to hold up in the kitchen, but uh, I don't know if you noticed, I'm six foot four and this apron's coming up uh, a little bit short. Have any other options for me? Yeah, absolutely. I do agree with you, Rich. And luckily we do have two more aprons we're going to try on today. The next one's going to be our Memphis. It's a chef's bib apron, which is going to be longer and wider. Let's go to Amanda Stuckey so she can tell us all about the Memphis family of aprons and why they've been one of our best selling aprons in our collection. Hey everybody, welcome back. And I am actually here to tell you about the Memphis chef's bib. The Memphis chef's bib is actually one of our best sellers and we often catch it constantly out and about in the most unlikely places. The Memphis Chef's Bib apron is available in black denim or indigo blue denim, which by the way is 100% cotton. Its oversized design weighs in at 40 inches tall and 35 inches wide and features a continuous adjustable strap that allows you to quickly find the right fit. With multiple pockets, including two front patch pockets, a smaller right side pocket and three chest pockets, perfect for pens, thermometers, tweezers, or whatever you got in handy, the Memphis Chef's Bib apron stands out from a crowd. The apron is simple, but includes details such as contrast top stitching and contrast tape ties, making this ordinary apron not so ordinary. And finally, you've heard this before, but it is absolutely worth repeating. Durability is a primary benefit of ChefWorks products. Double needle stitching with reinforced stress points is applied which keeps your apron from falling apart or tearing off a pocket when you get snagged. The Memphis Chef's Bib apron is part of the ChefWorks Urban Collection and belongs to the Memphis apron family, which actually features five different styles. So you've got your choice of the Chef's Bib, which we just talked about, a regular bib, a bistro, a half bistro, and a waist apron. This apron family covers everyone from the kitchen to the servers and even through the bar. Marisol, Chef Rich, tell us what you think. Thank you, Amanda. So Rich, we're gonna try on the Memphis apron next. It comes in indigo blue or black. Which do you wanna try? Oh, I've got the dark coat on. Let's stick with black. All right, there you go. So as Amanda mentioned, the Memphis is a family of aprons. And we have the chef's bib available that you're gonna try on right now. It comes in a chef's bib, a bistro, as well as a half bistro, and a waist, which I'll try on. Now, the best feature about the Memphis is how easy it is to put on. I noticed yeah. you already figured it out. You just pull those ties at the side and just give it a little swing pull. it over your head. Kind of brought it up too far at first, kind of slide it back down. I like it, this is great. Absolutely, now those contrast brown ties look great against the denim. We have the contrast top stitching to pop the uh, apron silhouette out. You have the chest pocket with the pen divisions, thermometer, Sharpie, whatever else. Just whatever I got to hold in there. Exactly. Got a little side pocket over here. Yes. Cool. This is great. And then this is like, feels like regular, I mean, feels like my jeans. So like, this is like a regular denim material. It is an 8.3 ounce, 100% cotton denim. So it's very sturdy and it's really going to hold up wash after wash. Yeah. I mean, I feel like just like a good pair of jeans, like as you wash it, it'll get nice and soft, kind of break in feel. I mean, this is super comfortable already, but I think over time it's just going to really like mold to me. Absolutely. All right, next up is our Brio apron. It's part of our contemporary collection. Amanda is gonna tell us all about it. The Brio Chef's Bib apron is part of the ChefWorks contemporary collection and is the lightest apron we have ever made for the kitchen. 
This modern, minimalistic design uses our signature light, now that's L-I-T-E, fabric, which is 4.7 ounces, which is also in our best-selling chef coats like the Hartford and the Springfield. The adjustable elastic neck strap is the signature feature. The elastic neck strap not only eliminates neck strain, but also keeps the apron in place. No more bunching, no more creeping, no more riding up. Its curved hemlines and inset utility pockets continue the minimalistic theme without sacrificing functionality. The Brio Chef's apron additionally features a small side pocket and a utility D-ring. This apron is soft to the touch, has our standard double needle stitching and reinforced stress points and we've heard from other chefs that it's so light that you sometimes forget that it's even on. The Brio Chef's bib apron comes in five distinct color options, including black, white, blue, charcoal, and mushroom. I'm super excited to see what Chef Rich has to say about the Brio apron. So Marisol, back over to you. Thank you, Amanda. Rich, let's try on the Brio. All right, let's check these guys out. Okay, so this is another Chef's Bib apron, so it provides extra width and length, and it comes in five colors. We have black, charcoal, blue, mushroom, and white. What's calling out to you? The blue, the blue, gotta do the blue this time. <laughs> All right, so Rich, you'll notice that the fabric is very lightweight. This is like super thin, super light, and it seems really familiar. I'm glad you said that. It's actually made of the same fabric as our Hartford and Springfield coat. Okay, that explains it. Those are like my two go-to coats. Those have been my favorite because I like how nice and white they are when I'm working. So, I mean, I feel like this apron kind of follows me right into the same line. Absolutely. So, the lightweight fabric is going to allow ease of movement. I mean, it almost feels like you have nothing on. Right? I know. This is <laughs> super light. It's not like bulky. I feel yeah. like, but at the same time, it's also staying in place. Like, it's, there's something different with the... The neck strap, this is this is like stretchy. Yeah, it's an elasticated neck strap. It's got the buckle so you can adjust it. Um, and in addition to that, you have a D-ring right there on your right hand side. Oh, okay, I can kind of like hook a towel on here. Absolutely. Kind of, oh, got a little pocket up front. The chest pocket guy, this is nice. Yes, you got the pen divisions right there on the chest. How does it feel? I mean, this feels really good. It's super lightweight, but I definitely think, you know, like it's it's got plenty of coverage. Oh, there's even like a little slit so I can kind of like squatting down in the kitchen, moving around. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those like aprons where you can kind of feel yourself moving, going through everything in the kitchen, but like mm -hmm. it's staying put. It's sometimes it's the yeah. worst thing. Apron wants to like shift around on you, but the uh, Brio seems to be doing the trick so far. Absolutely, I mean, as you were just moving, I noticed that it did not shift around on you at all. That next drop stayed in place and uh, it really looks great on you. <laughs> Thank you, and it's super comfortable too. Like, you don't have to worry about the, the next strap pulling down or anything like that. I think... Did you find your favorite? <laughs> I mean, Seattle came up a little bit short uh -huh. and the Memphis was a great city to go visit, but uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a Brio guy from now on. I love it. Well, Rich, I think you made an excellent choice can't thank you enough for being here with us today. I really appreciate you taking the time. I and you get you to keep me. that. You get to keep it and take it home. Oh, sweet. So <laughs> I'm going to have to pick up a few of these guys every different color. So all of our viewers, make sure to comment. We'd love to find out which was your favorite apron of the day and why. We'll see you on the next episode of Culinary Outfitters. I'm Marisol. Thank you, Rich, so much for being with us. See you on the next episode. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm Amanda Stuckey. Oh yeah, so...